All right, finally, I got my setup here. I used my pump sprayer, uh, sprayer pump here, and I put that in the line for my Venturi injector. So I'm literally forcing the extra um, pressure differential that I need with this booster pump here. Uh, which I also use for my sprayer. Uh, and here we go, we're getting a reading of a little over uh, five gallons per minute. No, per hour. Five gallons per hour. And so I've got this straight compost tea in a bucket here. And at the bottom of the bucket, there's a little tiny filter at the end of uh, end of this hose. When it comes down from the bucket, uh, that filter comes with the Venturi kit. Uh, I think the hose does too. I can't remember. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So you're you're filtering in through the Venturi, and. Uh, so yeah, it's a nice, slow, even, uh, even amount. This is now all going out to all my drip lines. I was going to show you over here how this is set up. So first, we got the filter here. And they got two pressure gauges. So we know when the difference between them is 10 PSI, uh, it's time to change this big disc filter. After the disc filter, we, uh, we come to a split here where I made a number one spot here. This will feed a good amount of uh, water flow to feed two fields or just the greenhouse by itself. The remainder of the water gets split up and it goes back to, uh, back to the stream before it's really been, anything's really been done with it other, other than just uh, cleaning it. Once it goes past that, it goes through a very fine filter here, which is leaking right now. Um, this is a very fine 200 mesh filter here for use for drip irrigation. Then we go to uh, a one-way valve here. This is a swing, a swing valve, so water can't come back, siphon back. Very important, especially when you're injecting things. Uh, come out here and you can ignore this stuff here. It's really not doing anything. Come to here in our injector. We're looking for a pressure difference uh, that's significant, which I did not have. That's a little sampling for it here. If we want to open it up and sample what we're getting for water, we can test different things. And since it's after the injector, we can even test, like, you know, uh, basically how much uh, life is in a uh, sample of water, or how much. Uh, compost tea is getting in and you know what our end result water is going to be like. Soup. I've spent so much time on this. If you have a Venturi injector and you're not getting enough pressure, this is what you need to do. Hook up one of these pumps. Right now, here, this is only running at 240. That's what my pump uses a 240 volt connection. So, so I can't run this guy here, which is 12 volt DC. I need to run that off the battery. And right now, I use my car battery. And I did the math. I could actually take the car battery out of my car because it has enough amp hours in it. And this pump will use probably uh, somewhere around 60. Uh, amp hours, so you're only supposed to discharge a lead acid battery uh, about 20% uh, because that's how they're designed. So you would need something as large as a car battery, and you might be able to run, uh, you might be able to uh, inject for like an hour, and then you'd have to stop unless you have like a marine battery or something that can actually take an actual deep discharge. Or a cadmium, you know, a couple cadmium batteries you were to recharge, or lithium ion batteries, uh, anything, anything else. 
you can think of. All you need is 12 volts and you need amp hours. I don't want to risk it with my truck battery, so I just keep it running for now until I get something better set up.